Hello everyone, Sableye here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about one of the new Pokemon released in the Teal Mask DLC, Sinistra. And Sinistra is a Pokemon that has a lot of, I think, a lot of niche usages in VGC right now. So we're going to talk about that, we're going to go over some different ways that I think you could run it. And then I'm going to send you guys two sets that uh, you can start playing around with. But uh, to start things off, Sinistra, Grass Ghost type, we're going to start with the basics. Grass Ghost type, guys. With a really, really cool new ability, along with an old ability, Heat Proof, which is going to have the damage from uh, offensive, uh, from fire type attacks coming into you. And of course, the new ability, which I am, in my opinion, I think currently is the better ability. I think Heat Proof has merit, but I think Hospitality, just healing a quarter of your allies' HP on Switch in feels really, really good. And I think there's different ways to go about doing this to a spot where you can get, you can keep uh, Sinistra in the back, take a little bit. Take a little bit of damage up front, switch your, Sinistra, Sin, uh, switch your Sinistra in, heal up your ally, allow it to take another attack, maybe something that, that's like a Fluttermane, right? They think they're going to take down the Fluttermane because they just did 48, uh, 53% to it, right? Now you switch this in, you heal back up, they're doing another 53%, you still have a little bit of health left, right? Just opportunities, I think, with Hospitality are endless. You can switch out and then come back in and you get to Hospitality for your teammate again. I think it's a very, very cool option, especially in a doubles format right it's almost as if this pokemon was actually built for doubles which i think is very cool moving forward a lot of cool terror types we'll talk about that when we talk about the sets um stats we got to look at okay 121 special attack guys that's going to start doing damage okay that is going to start doing damage like fluttermane the insane amount of damage that Fluttermane can do, obviously that's an offensive variant with specs, right? But that only has 135, so it's only 14 base points higher. I know that that can be a lot, but 121 is very, very solid. Nothing wrong with 121, that is a very good stat. I think the, the bigger part here is the bulk is actually very decent. So 7180 on the special side is neutral. I, I wouldn't call that like astounding, I wouldn't call that amazing, but it's very workable, you can do a lot with that. The defense being at 106, on the other hand, is actually very, very strong for what I think this Pokemon wants to be doing. This Pokemon wants to come in. To me, it feels like this was, I don't like Urshifu. Let's make something that helps us deal with Urshifu. So they made Sinistra, in my opinion. I don't think that's the case at all, but it just feels like it's something that's kind of meant to beat Urshifu, or at least deal with Urshifu a little bit better. So really, really cool options there. The stats, like I said, are very, very strong. And now let's get into the, uh, let's get into the moves. So you got cool setup options, you've got Calm Mind, you've got Iron Defense if you want to sit on the field a little longer. Uh, I don't love Memento, I think it's a very bad move considering you're, like, you're trading an entire Pokemon just to drop stats. I, I mean, there may be nice usages for it, but... Then you have Offensive Coverage, right? You've got Energy Ball, Giga Drain, uh, Foul Play is always cool if you run like a bulkier Sinister set, right? Just It's consistent damage into their physical attackers if you've get, gotten hindered or just don't want to invest a lot into your special attack stat here. Um, Leaf Storm is cool as well. Uh, Machigacha, though, is the new move. It's signature move, which I definitely am going to talk about. So Machigacha is basically spread Giga Drain. So it's spread Giga Drain. It's going to do 50%. Uh, it's going to heal you back based on 50% of the damage that you deal. And then it's also going to have a 20% chance to burn the target. The only drawback, it's only 90% accurate. Now, is that necessarily a bad thing? I'm kind of happy it's not 100% accurate. If this thing was 100% accurate, it would be the most broken, one of the most broken moves in the game. So giving it a chance to miss at least makes sense. Personally, I'm under, I'm in like the the uh, on the team or on the side of, hey, I'd rather the moves be a little bit weaker but 100% accurate, and then have all these boosted effects and only 90%. Because now it's like they gotta hit the 90, then they gotta hit the 20% burn, and it just feels really bad if they get both. <laughs> You know, but it is what it is. That is a really good move. We're going to be featuring that move on a lot of these sets that we talk about today. Uh, Nightshade is another cool option just because like you actually do things. Like it's a consistent 50 damage. If you look at Dusclops and what it's done in the past in VGC, Nightshade is never a bad move, especially on like bulkier Pokemon. So I don't hate Nightshade Sinistra in a sense. I don't think it's going to get much usage, but I don't hate it. Protect is never bad. Uh, Skull coming back with the DLC and Sinistra getting access to it is definitely something I want to talk about. Because I don't know if you really want to be running Skull on a Sinistra. But it's a cool option, right? Those These fire types that really necessarily want to take down your Sinistra. You can just go maybe tear a water Scald them, right? And all of a sudden, that's something to consider. Uh, Strength Sap is a very, very strong support move that I think uh, needs to be considered as well. Just hinder off those physical attackers. 
heal up your HP again. It just feels, like I said, this, this Pokemon feels like it was meant to hinder off, like, the Urshifus and, like, the big physical attackers as well. So, like, it feels like it was well made and gonna, it's actually gonna probably do what it's designed to do, which I think is very, very cool. Uh, Terra Blast Trick Room is another very cool option. And obviously every Pokemon gets so, but like Trick Room is cool, just switching to dimensions. And we saw it in that uh, special attack, uh, speed stat, right? It can afford to be Trick Room Setter. It, it being a Trick Room Setter is nothing wrong with having a Trick Room Setter. Is it, your Trick Room Setter being Sinister now, which I think is very very cool. So to start off, we're gonna look at like I said before, just like I said when I mentioned Scald, I do think I have to mention it. Terra Water plus Scald plus Machigacha, that is a Water Grass type in one Pokemon, and then you pair that with a Fire type. Common fire water grass core. Obviously these fire water grass cores guys I feel like we've gotten away from like the cores of fire water grass and fairy dragon steel and stuff like that because we can Terra But being able to utilize the Terra to create those cores is also something to consider sometimes, right? So having becoming a water type having scald puts on damage hits some coverage Flips the uh, weaknesses pretty well, almost in your favor, outside of like, you, you drop all your ghost weaknesses, which is perfect, or your weaknesses because you're a ghost type, and then you f basically flip the grass weaknesses for the most part. Not entirely, but you you go from being le losing to a fire type to now all of a sudden it's your fire type answer sort of thing, right? So, and I think Calm Mind on a set like this makes a lot of sense, right? Just... Having the ability to set up your special bulk to fix that, to correct the 80, make it a little bit better. Get some skull, get some matcha gotcha damage. Like, think about it. You're setting up combines, then you're clicking matcha gotcha, hitting both targets, getting health back, right? So any chip damage they do to you, you're probably gaining back, and you're only getting stronger with combines at the same time. And then if you need to do a big finishing move, you got Terra Water, and all of a sudden you're a water type of skull, right? Something along these lines feels good. Right, this is definitely one way I would opt to play this Pokemon. I feel like it's something to consider. Also, a move that I didn't go over yet is Rage Powder, but we'll get into that in a second. I just realized I completely somehow skipped over Rage Powder. I don't know how. Um, besides the point, uh, definitely a cool option here. Like I think like two attacks, Combine Protect is definitely a very valid option for Sinistra. So I definitely wanted to highlight that there. Terra Water is also really, really cool. And like I said, speaking of Rage Powder that I happened to skip over, we're going to jump over here. I don't know what Terra type you'd really want to go on like a really, really supportive set. So I kind of left it at grass for now, even though that's going to change. But once again, just hospitality is so good, especially with the support, right? You can switch in. Not only are you healing up your ally on your, on your switch in, you're also now going to be able to protect it from future attacks with Rage Powder, which feels incredibly strong right now, right? Strength up, once again, like I said before, just going to hinder off those physical, dam uh, physical damage dealers on the other end, getting, getting once again your health back. And once again, I think I have to mention Trick Room on these support sets. It's something to mention. It needs to be done. It needs to be said. It is a very strong option on this Pokemon, I think. And then you probably just close this one off with Matagata, guys. If you're going to run Rage Power, Strength Up, Strength Up, and Trick Room, you're here to get health back. So you're going to probably go Matagata to close this one off. Uh, nothing too crazy on the on, on uh, the other hand on this set. Like It's not like you're trying to Terra. You're not trying to set up. It's basically, I'm going to sit on the field. I'm gonna be annoying. I'm gonna get my health back. You're gonna have you have to target me because otherwise I'm gonna sit here and just keep healing, and you're never gonna win the game. I'm gonna potentially burn you. And if you target me, and you don't kill me, then I'm just gonna get all that health back or most of that health back. And just because of that, I feel like the the support option feels really really strong. So there's a few other sets that I kind of want to bring up, and these are more so thoughts that I don't know if they're really gonna become a thing, but I can definitely see them being used if the situation revolves around or deems it necessary, right? Okay, so like I said before, you do get access to heat proof having fire damage, and you can have the option to go Terra Fairy. And because of that, I think you could be a very decent TU answer, which I think is very, very cool, right? You go Terra Fairy, you're no longer weak to fire. In fact, you technically resist it because you're heat proof, and then you have a fairy type, so you resist the dark damage as well. Uh, so very decent, interesting little wall, I guess you could say, to a TU you lead and then you set the trick room up which I think is something to consider and then you can like like those TU teams tend to be offensive they tend to be fast so you wall out the TU you get your trick room up all of a sudden you're in a pretty good spot obviously a little bit easier said than done because there is still a partner beside TU but it is something to consider moving forward uh something else I want to say is probably I want to bring up assault vest I'm not going to bring it up as one of the set ones or set twos I don't think assault vest is the is the way to go with this Pokemon, but I have to bring it up, right? Because you have a very good special attack, you can use it. You can actually be afford to be locked in 
to attacking moves only because you have an attacking move that's going to heal up, right? So you could actually get away, right? You can be bulky, you can switch it into your assault vest, you can take a special attack while healing your partner, and then get your health back with Matcha Gacha. I don't know if this is necessarily the way you'd want to run this Pokemon, but I definitely think it's a way that I should be bringing up, right? Like, assault vest, Matcha Gacha healing, Shadow Ball, maybe even a Hex so you can, like, capitalize on Matcha Gacha stuff is very, very cool. I don't know if it's viable, viable, but... You probably go, uh, like I said, Matcha Gacha, uh, Shadow Ball, uh, Scald for sure if you're going to do the AV set. And then Terra Blast if you're going to go out of, if you're going to tear away from like a Water type. But I think Water Terra on AV makes a lot of sense. So you probably just go Scald. And then like I said, you can, you have options on that last attacking move if you wanted it. Not, uh, not too much of a big deal. Uh, and something else that's really kind of cute that I wanted to bring up is actually Eject Button or Eject Pack. With Hospitality. I think is very, very cool. I'm going to say eject pack just for the sake of it, but eject button is also, both are very valid, right? You get hit, you switch out, you come back in, you heal your partner up again. Or in this case, you, you lower your stat, you switch out, you come back in and heal your partner up again, right? Both of which are very valid opportunities to do this. What could be cool about eject pack is if you expect them to like switch in an intimidator and then you switch out before their intimidator switches in. So you could switch in. Heal up your partner, they switch their Intimidator in on the same turn, you get eject packed out, the next turn you come back in with Sinatra and heal your Pokemon up, partner up even more, right? So that's kind of the concept with this, it's very very cool, but it also feels very very niche and not necessarily as great. With eject pack as well, you could opt for something like a Leaf Storm. I don't like this, personally, I think it's very gimmicky, I think it relies a lot on... I'm saying, well, hey, I'm not really using this Pokemon. I'm simply going to use this Pokemon as Hospitality, which this Pokemon has so much more than that. It just doesn't feel good. So uh, that all said and done, kind of laid out the options for you guys. Uh, set one, we're going to talk about Citrus Berry. We're going to talk about Machigacha. We're going to talk about some, uh, some sort of a semi-support, semi-attack, semi-offensive, whatever you want to call it. I don't have a name for this set, guys. I'm going to be honest. It's it's pretty basic. It's just the Machigacha, Scald, Terra Water. Uh, Rage Powder can be Calm Mind, really just depends on what you choose for the team. Same with Protect, it can become Calm Mind as well. I, I feel like both are very valid in this scenario, right? You can say, hey, Rage Powder is cool if I, my team needs Rage Powder, or hey, I want my Sinister to be my setup Pokemon, I'll throw a Calm Mind on there and then have Protect. I think Rage Powder Protect is something that's not talked about enough, and it just puts on pressure without necessarily putting on pressure, because like I said, you kind of need to take down Sinistra before it kind of goes goes through your team, supports supports the rest of the team too well. It's similar to Amoongus. With Amoongus, I always want to get rid get it off the field as soon as possible, right? You don't want to get put to sleep. You don't want it to be around to start pollen puffing things. So you want it off the field. When the Amoongus doesn't have Protect, it's a very easy mon to say, hey, we're going to double into it and just try to pick it off that way. But when Amoongus has Protect, all of a sudden it becomes, hey, Hold up, I've got to reconsider just wasting a turn doubling into Amoongus here. And I think we can use that same concept here in in combination with Rage Powder to do the exact same thing in a sense. Obviously, you're not pressuring the Spore damage, but you are pressuring some Matagotcha, you are pressuring Recovery, you are pressuring potential Scald Burn as well, right? This is going to be a Burn bot, basically, with Matagotcha and Scald. You're going to get your, you're, you're going to get your fair share of Burns, right? So they're going to want it off the field, especially if their team right now, the format is primarily physical attackers, minus like the Flutter Mains and the GUs, but there's a lot of physical attackers out here going rolling around right now. So having something like this feels a little good, feels pretty good, right? You know they're going to target you, you can redirect things away. And when you're a ghost type with Rage Powder, guys, you just redirect away like the close combat and the, uh, and the drain punches. And all those fighting moves to keep your either your dark type, maybe like your Shen Pao, which is, by the way, four times weak to fighting. You can just redirect those fighting moves away. Shen Pao, keep it alive. Uh, maybe you want to keep your uh, your other normal type alive. Like I think Sinistra plus uh, Ursaluna or Ursaluna Blood Moon, both are very valid. They both don't like, a, they don't, they both don't appreciate Iron Hands all that much. Because like the Drain Punch does too much before like, especially the AV Iron Hand stuff, right? They have a lot of trouble with that. So being able to redirect the Drain Punch away from the Iron Hands, potentially burn the Iron Hands as well. Just it's, it's decent support beside normal types. I definitely think it needs to be, I don't think it's a must run on Sinistra, but I do really like Rage Powder as an option. But you could very easily throw a Calm Mind here and say it's solid. I'll leave it as Calm Mind for now. And then once again, guys, Citrus Berry plus Calm Mind I think is very cool. It's, it's basically, hey, I'm going to Calm Mind. 
right? I'll take a little bit of damage. Citrus Berry will heal me up. I'm going to get pretty pretty high again. And then I'm going to get Machigacha. I'm going to get more health back. And once again, just sitting on the field, getting damage off, getting health back, and maybe being hard to take down, I think, is what Sinistra is going to do. Set 2, I'm going to... Oh, I didn't even talk about the spread. Uh, spread, guys, are going to be very, very basic. That's my disclaimer right now. Uh, this one does a very good job of... It lives Terra Water 156 from... Lives Terra Water Urshifu's... Surging strikes if they're 156 adamant as a three shot, which feels pretty good. And then in, in turn, it doesn't die to the Fluttermane Moonblast from Specs Fluttermane. Uh, and then just I hit the bump in special attack, guys. Like I said, nothing too crazy here. I don't think these spreads are amazing, but they're definitely starting points if you just wanted to slap them on on a team and give it a shot. Uh, set two, like I said, we're going to go very quickly. I'm going to preface this that I don't think Rocky Helmet is the item for this set. I just wanted to bring up Rocky Helmet in general. As a, as a way to say, hey, Rocky Helmet could be a cool item for this Pokemon as well. Especially if you're, like, you're redirecting, you have Strength Sap. You're basically, this set is basically a physical attacker's nightmare. Is basically what I'm going off of for here. This is the concept that I was going at. I want to be the most annoying I can versus every physical attacker in the format. If they're going to try and crit through me with Surging Strikes... Rocky Helmet's going to be here. I could see maybe going Terra Fairy here as well. I left the, the, the Terra un... Untouched. I think Fairy here could be cool if you're worried about like Wicked Blow if that becomes a big part of the meta. Right? I'm gonna do that. But then like once again, Matcha Gotcha, you're gonna potentially burn, you're gonna get health back. Strength Sap, you're gonna hinder their attacks, you're gonna get health back. You're gonna redirect the physical attackers into you to proc that Rocky Helmet. And I put Trick Room on just because I do think Trick Room is a very valid option on this set, right? This to me feels like Dusclops in a sense. Right? This is kind of my 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 new Dusclops way to speak. This is the new Dusclops spread, if you want to call it that. Right? Because back in the day, Dusclops, you'd get Trick Room up, then you'd have Will-O-Wisp, you'd have Pain Split to regain health, and then you'd do a little bit of damage with uh, Nightshade. Right? Similar stuff here. You're going to get Trick Room up, you're going to hinder off physical attackers, you're going to do a little bit of damage, and more importantly now, you actually get to redirect other attacks away without necessarily needing to use Ally Switch like the Dusclops does. Right? Very valid set. Uh, once again here, just hitting pretty much the same things the other one hit. Uh, you don't need to go min speed. I don't even know if I'd advise min speed. I don't absolutely love that. I just kind of put it here to just showcase once again, guys. Uh, you can play around with that speed tier 100%. Uh, to those that are just going to take the pace, you're going to be like, why is he min speed? But hey, this is why you watch the video, right? Uh, with that, guys, uh, if you guys did make it this far, please uh, put matcha gotcha in the, in the comment section. That'll be cool to see. Uh, but with that, I, I think that's pretty much it, right? Sinistra is a really, really cool Pokemon. I, I don't know. It's a ghost type. I love ghost types. I think it's viable, right? I think the stats set it up. Calm Mind set is very, very cool. In fact, I played one the other day with Calm Mind and Iron Defense. And it just kind of sat on the field. I couldn't break it, right? Because it was Calm Mind, Iron Defense, and then it was Matagata healing. It was just healing. It was consistently healing. It was, it was insane, right? These are the two sets I would try out first. I do think there's room to play with both of them. Uh, but I, like I said, I just wanted to get this uh, video out here, show you guys a little bit my thoughts on Sinistra and how it fits into the meta. But with that, if you guys do enjoy this type of content, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And with that, I will catch you all in a future video.